Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, let's play ball! Peanuts and Cracker Jacks is a 6% porter from Mitten Brewing Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Baseball season is upon us, and the Tigers have had a surprising open. Although they're cooling off a little bit now. Hopefully they're not just setting us up for a disappointing fall. But even if you can't always count on the fall, you can always count on being able to enjoy a few concessions during the game. Now today I have Peanuts and Cracker Jack from the Mitten Brewing Company in Grand Rapids. And this isn't my first run around the bases with Mitten. Last year I opened the season with Country Strong, a really nice multi IPA. If you like multi IPAs, it'll be right up your alley. Now Mitten describes Peanuts and Cracker Jacks as a robust porter. And it's a nice break from all the IPAs and the stouts and the bourbon barrel aged everything so let's take a look at the label like we do and get this into a glass fun fact cracker jack brand cracker jacks were introduced in 1896 but candy coated popcorn has been around since at least 1857 so let's take a look at the label here on the front on the top it's got a nice let's start with the color it's got a really nice white label across the top it says mitten brewing company established in 2012 peanuts and cracker jack this is 12 fluid ounces, 6% ABV and a robust porter. What I like, and I really actually really like about Mitten's labels is that they all kind of look like baseball jerseys or like something you would see at a baseball stadium. They look like a Yankees, a traditional Yankees jersey or a old, old school Mets or, you know, one of those intertwined text or initialed logos. And it says on the side here, a sweet, robust porter made with loads of real peanuts, peanut butter, and a kiss of caramel malt. This season, the ballpark comes to you, established in 2012, and it says, I like this, recycle or die. Absolutely recycle. And let's see what else we have here. Brewed and canned by the Mitten Brewing Company, 540 Leonard Street, Northwest, Sweet D, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 49504. Canned in the hand and loved in the glove. So you can also check them out at mittenbrewing.com. It says, flavors added, peanuts, peanut butter, natural flavors. I bought a couple singles of this. It was $2.39 a single. So you should expect to multiply that by how many they sell it in a six pack. You should expect to see this for about 10 bucks or so, I would think, for a six pack. And uh, yeah, so I'm ready to dive right into this. Is there a canned on date? There is not. I have wanted to review this several times, especially last year, because Mitten started hitting all over the place. But by the time I got it, it was way past when I probably should have recorded. And I am going to use for this porter the draft therapy tiku glass custom treatment uh, i'm going to give the porter the humble porter the presentation it deserves let's go ahead and crack this open and get a nose out of the can here wow i mean it is straight it smells like peanut butter i'm getting a lot of peanuts a lot of kind of a peanut buttery smell i'm actually also getting kind of a buttery smell to it if you can believe that, I've gotten butter, the butter flavor in a few beers. Uh, most notably that I can always think about is the French Toast Devil Dog from Roke. It has a really nice kind of buttery flavor in there, like a saltiness. And I picked that up on the smell on this. Let's go ahead and pour it into the glass. A nice dark porter. It comes, pours out a little thin, but you know, you can see through it, but you can see that in a lot of stouts too. And I'm getting a nice, where is the label? There we go. Getting a nice kind of coffee, khaki colored head, about a finger and a half. Bubbles are a little bit larger. They're dissipating fairly quickly, but they're 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 kind of hanging in there. And I can see a lot of carbonation streaming up through the sides of the glass. It's gonna be way too close for me to get a close-up of that and, and for you to be able to see it. But I can get, I'm getting a lot of bubbling through the top. And as you'll see from the overhead, the, the head's kind of dissipating fairly evenly but quickly. So let's go ahead and hold this up. It has got a nice brown tint to it. It is not uh, it is not transparent at all. I'm not seeing anything through it. Again, I always talk about the bulb on the bottom of the glass. You can see it has a nice kind of brownish, reddish hue to it. Let's put a better nose here, get a good aroma. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of peanut, a lot of peanut butter, a lot of kind of salty, buttery scent, like a popcorn-y. I mean, go ahead and go figure. Makes me wonder if they actually put, you know, if they, they add some popcorn in the end or some kind of peanut butter, if they do the both thing. Mitten, if you're watching, let us know. But it, it just smells delicious, so I'm ready to dive right in. So cheers. It 
It's actually for as it, it, it looked a little bit on the thinner side for a porter pouring it in, but what I'm getting is a really nice, sweet porter. I am getting like a peanut slash peanut buttery kind of taste in there. It's getting, it has a, the, the roasty malts in there really, uh, the kind of caramel malt really adds a nice character on the tail end, on, almost on the finish, but it kind of lays underneath. So on top, you get more of that kind of peanut, peanut buttery kind of taste on top. And that caramel malt just kind of sits underneath the whole time. So now through the, through the open to the finish, you gotta, it kind of hangs in there. Okay, so this is as advertised. I'm getting a lot, again, up front, getting kind of a sweetness, kind of a peanut, kind of a peanut buttery taste underneath, just again, really nice undertone of caramel malt. It's almost like, almost chocolatey to a point because of the kind of roasty, malty flavors in there mixed with that caramel kind of flavoring. The only thing that I'm not picking up that I was getting on the smell was more of that salty, more of that kind of buttery quality, which would have been really nice to see, but that would, that's just like a, that's like a on top, you know, it's it's like a, it's a nice to have, but it's not something that, because I'm not getting, getting that buttery kind of salty quality to it, it doesn't ruin the experience at all. What I'm getting is a really nice, sweet, full-bodied uh, porter up front. It Again, it's got a nice kind of peanut, peanut buttery taste, but underneath that undertone of caramel maltiness is just, and, and roasty, roasty kind of flavors. Just, it just adds, you know, it's just the, the piece de resistance, you know, it's just like the, the extra little bit that you get in there. Actually, now that I kind of roll it around, before that, caramel malt sits in there is this actually like this actual s salty kind of character in there i think the aroma helps with that you know you kind of you know if you have a cold and you drink something you're not getting all the flavor because you smell some of it you know you, your smell adds so much to the taste i think the smell that kind of the aromatics that are in there of that salty kind of buttery taste really adds in, but it's something, it's really complex. It's really deep in there. You really have to dive in there to get that. But if you sit and you just kind of let it marinate, you know, kind of hang out in your mouth for just a second, right on the swallow, that saltiness comes through. Again, that's just, that's a nice to have and having it just, it adds, you know, just to the top of it and it puts it over the top, puts, Peanuts and Cracker Jack just over the top. If you're a Porter fan, if you like peanut butter, if you like if you like that salty quality, if you like caramel malty roastiness, this is you need to go out right now and pick this up. Peanuts and Cracker Jack by the Mitten Brewing Company. This is just an an awesome job, and I'm a huge fan. All right, friends, that has been Peanuts and Cracker Jack from Mitten Brewing Company. If you make your way into one of their tap rooms, because I know they have a few of them, let them know you saw their beer right here. So have you had this before? And what's your favorite beer to crack and watch a game with? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like Michigan beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about Michigan beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays for free for viewers just like you. And you never know, you might miss your next favorite if you're not subscribed. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, Michigan or not. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>